rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. You see, the thing is, we're all looking for rest in some sort of way, right? That's why we go on vacation, we take days off, we sleep in, we need a break, right? We need some rest, right? We're all looking for peace and rest. And Jesus said, if you come to me, I will give you this rest, not as something you have to work for, but as something I want to give you. This rest is like unlike any other rest that the world can give you. This rest is rest for your soul that only God can give you. And this rest is better than life itself. The Bible says that he who has the Son has life, but he who does not have the Son does not have life, and the wrath of God abides on him. But whoever comes to the Son has life. And Jesus came to give life and life to the full. The Bible says the thief, meaning Satan, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Satan's here, and he's trying to destroy your life. He's trying to kill your life. He's trying to take you out. But God said, I've come to give you life. I've come to raise you from the dead. Ezekiel 37 says, I'll remove from you the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit in you and cause you to walk in my statutes. I'll remove from you your heart. I will give you a new heart. You see, the gospel is that God can give you a new heart. God can give you a brand new heart. David said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Return to me the joy of my salvation and cast me not from your presence. You see, David was someone who just sinned. He actually committed adultery and then he murdered someone and God still saved him. And if you look in the Bible, the people that God used greatly were not perfect people. They were broken people, but they said, I'm here and I'm ready to obey. And the thing is, God can use you no matter what your past is. He can wash it away. He can give you a fresh start. Because Lamentations 3, 25 says, His mercies are new every morning. Every morning, God's mercy is new. Every breath you have is a gift from God. Every day you wake up is a day that God ordained for you. God has our days numbered in His book. It's called the Book of Life. And God has everything ready for your life. He's created you with an exact purpose. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a good hope and a future. You see, God is not here to just simply judge or hate. No, He's here to give you a, a hope and a future.